it is important in order to be a true self, to be a to be to to have a conscious experience as an, an inner perspective. Um, you have to be, you know, he he focuses on the view of um embryonic development as a single system that, you know, whatever subdivides and develops, but it but it starts out as a single system. And I was arguing that that really is just a um uh, a contingent feature of biology. I mean, we certainly can take two two early embryos and mush them together. You get a perfectly normal, you know, embryo out of it. And in general, there are lots of biological systems like our our xenobots, like uh, like anthropods, that you can you can create by c- a composition by pulling other things together. So I I don't give as much um, I, I don't put as much emphasis on a system being demarcated from the outside world because it was somehow. Uh, because it started out that way and it sort of remained, uh, you know, disconnected. I, I think those are, I think that's kind of a superficial aspect of the biology and you can do things a different way. I don't think that's what, um, what's responsible for, it. but, but he, he, you know, I, I yeah, I think, I think he thinks it's important that, that individual selves are not, um, compositions. They're not made as compositions. 